I'm Jeff with Precision Replacement Parts. I'm here with Greg today and we're going to show you how to install a WBL 1135. Greg, what's this fit? Fits 1973-87 GM full-size truck. After 87 through 91, fits three-quarter ton and larger. Please see the application list on our website. Here's the tools you'll need. We're going to start the remover process by taking a utility knife and making a T in the top of the gasket. That will expose the edge of the glass and we'll just continue cutting the gasket off. All right, Greg's finished cutting up the upper portion of the gasket. We left the bottom portion in, and this will keep the glass from falling out on you. We went ahead and installed our glass handling cups, and Greg, we're ready to take the glass out. We'll tip the glass back out of the gasket. Now we'll lift up, removing it from the gasket. With the glass removed, We'll take the rest of the gasket off the body. All right, we're ready to install the gasket. We're gonna do the WBL here. Just gonna start in the lower corner, putting the gasket into the glass groove. He's gonna work along the bottom till about a third of the way. Then I'll start on my corner, stretching it to reach the corner. And then we'll finish along the bottom. So we'll stretch the top corner around the edge of the glass, putting the glass in the glass groove along the top. Finishing along the sides and then making sure that our corner is squared up with the edge of the glass. We are going to install the rope we're going to use to put the glass into the cab. Using the ball end hook tool, we're going to insert the rope into the pinch weld groove. As we finish up installing this rope into the pinch weld groove, you want to overlap where you started. And we'll show you why when we install the glass into the truck. I'll gather the rope ends together, just going to tape it to the glass. We're ready to put the glass back in the cab. The rope side goes toward the cab. We're not trying to install it at this point. We're not trying to lip it over the pinch weld. We're just putting it to the cab, centering it top to bottom, side to side. Now we'll move to the inside to install it. Now Jeff is on the outside, holding with flat hands against the glass pressure. Now, when we overlapped the rope, it allows us to pull the whole center section of the rope, where the rope is, into the cab. And we'll just continue pulling the lip over the pinch weld. Now I'm keeping my hand kind of against the glass because it makes it easier to pull that lip over the pinch weld. We'll continue along the bottom. We get to the corner. Now the corner is very sharp, so what you want to do is you want to make circles with your rope, not giving it full force, but enough to 
work that corner over the pinch weld. And try not to rip the gasket as you're pulling it over that metal edge. Again, pulling towards the middle. Now I went halfway up the side, and I will just pull it down. Make sure this corner is set. I will continue across the bottom to the other corner. We brought the pinch weld lip over along the bottom and up the side. On the driver's side, we've completed up around the top corner and brought it about halfway to the top. We're going to finish along the passenger side. Again, still keeping my hands close to the glass, pulling that lip over the pinch weld. Pull the rope all the way in. Just going to give it a couple pats on the outside, flat handed. Okay. Now, if there's a section of the gasket that does not come over the pinch weld, take your ball hook tool, pull that lip down, it will bring it in, it will complete our installation. You want the, the inside lip to be laying against the body, and you're done.